Good evening, and welcome to the public hearing for the Median Modification Project on State Road 15600, U.S. 1792, at the railroad crossing south of Orange Avenue in Orange County. It is Thursday, August 10, 2017. The project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5, is Mr. Ashraf El Magrabi. Also here this evening are various members of the Florida Department of Transportation staff. Public participation at this hearing is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI Coordinator, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 506, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email her at jennifer.smith2 at dot dot state dot fl dot us or Jacqueline Paramore the state title VI coordinator at 605 Suwannee Street mail station 65 Tallahassee Florida 32399 by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at Jacqueline dot Paramore at dot dot state dot fl dot us or you may use one of the forms available at the registration table. A transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be part of the public record of this project. At the conclusion of the presentation, attendees who completed a speaker request card will be given an opportunity to speak into a microphone to make comments. Any questions will be answered after the public hearing portion of this meeting. If you did not pick up a card at the registration desk, project staff will distribute cards to anyone wishing to give a verbal statement. If you do not wish to speak publicly, you may also make a comment directly to the court reporter after the presentation. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Florida Statute Section 339.155, Section 335.199, and Section 120.525. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the opportunity to express their views relative to this project. Notice of this public hearing was originally published in the Orlando Sentinel, Seminole Zone, and Orange Zone on July 20, 2017, and again on July 30, 2017. As previously mentioned, this project addresses the median modification on U.S. 1792 at the rail crossing just south of Orange Avenue as shown on the project location map. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the median installation on State Road 15600, U.S. 1792 at the railroad crossing south of Orange Avenue. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. The proposed improvements consist of constructing a raised grass median along State Road 15600, U.S. 1792, from the railroad crossing to 100 feet north and south of the crossing. These median modifications will allow for the installation of additional crossing gates. The construction of the grassed raised median will provide space to install additional crossing gates. These new gates will enhance safety and allow the crossing to be considered a quiet zone through which trains will not be required to sound their horns as they cross U.S. 1792. 
In addition, numerous conflicts occur based on the existing roadway geometry. This five-lane section of 1792 has a two-way bi-directional left turn lane running down the center of the roadway. Although this turn lane ends just north and south of the rail crossing, it is delineated with paint only. This allows motorists to continue to utilize the center lane through the rail crossing. By introducing the raised grass median on either side of the rail crossing, traffic conflict points can be reduced and traffic operations can be improved and safety increased through the rail crossing. So, what are conflict points? Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. For example, at a two-lane four-way intersection, there are as many as 32 conflict points as shown on this slide. In this scenario, if a vehicle is attempting to make a left turn from the side street, it can cross paths with vehicles going through on the main street making a left turn from the main street or with a vehicle going through or turning right in the opposing direction. U.S. 1792 intersection with Vivian Avenue is a three-way intersection with numerous conflict points. The placement of a median greatly reduces the number of conflict points at this intersection. The existing full access along U.S. 1792 at Vivian Avenue will be closed by FDOT with the construction of a raised grass median. This modification is based on the desire to create a rail quiet zone and the observed conflicts relating to queued vehicles and turning movements at this location. This modification changes the westbound approach on the side street to right-in, right-out only access. Construction of this median eliminates several conflicts at that location. If you have more questions about access management, the Florida Department of Transportation has produced an access management brochure. It is written in a question and answer format where commonly asked questions are answered in a way that is easily understood. Copies of this brochure are available here this evening, or you can download a PDF file of the brochure from FDOT's Access Management website. The design for this project is expected to be complete by the fall of 2017. Construction is anticipated to begin by winter of 2017. Construction costs are estimated at approximately $65,000. The Department of Transportation values your opinion. A court reporter is present to record a statement from anyone wishing to do so. Please give us your comments by submitting a speaker request card found at the registration table or by filling out a comment card and either dropping it in the comment box or returning it by mail to the address on the card by August 20, 2017. If you do not feel comfortable speaking in front of an audience, you may make a statement directly to the court reporter after the presentation. You can also give your input by emailing ashraf.elmagrabi at dot.state.fl.us. All comments, whether written or oral, will become part of the project's public record. We will now pause to collect any speaker request cards from audience members wishing to make a statement for the record. We ask that you limit your comments to three minutes, and please remember that we will not be answering any questions at this time. The project staff will be available at the displays after the formal presentation to answer any questions you may have. When we collect the speaker request cards, we will call out the names of individuals who have filled out a card in the order we have received them. When you come to the microphone, please state your full name, your street address, and then give your statement for the court reporter to record.
If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, please contact Mr. Ashraf El Maghrabi at the address or email shown on this slide, or you may call him at 386 943 5645. You can also keep up to date with this project as well as others in the area by checking the CFLroads.com website. Thank you for taking the time to attend this hearing, and we appreciate your participation. We look forward to receiving your comments on this project.